Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a super exciting one. It is a really highly requested video. And as you can see behind me, I am going to be showing you my entire Hermes bag collection. So if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. Thank you for joining me. If you love handbags, if you love bag collection videos, this is the video for you. I have got quite a selection of bags to show you in different colors, in different leathers. This has been such a highly requested video. If you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, but I would absolutely love if you join my YouTube family and all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button and click that bell to be notified each time I upload because I plan for those of you that are part of my notification squad, there will be surprises throughout the year. Actually, what I would love for you guys to do is share this video or share with your family and friends. Let's get up to 200k ASAP because I'm already searching for a designer bag to give you. Yes, so I'm open to suggestions. If you've got a suggestion, do comment below. So for the occasion, I am wearing my Hermes t-shirt. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I'll definitely get another one. I've got my Hermes ring. I've got Hermes earrings. So yes, all decked out to match this whole theme. And how I'm going to structure this video is I am just going to give a brief overview of the bag, show you the inside, most importantly, show you what it looks like worn on me. For reference, I I am 164 centimeters tall or approximately 5'5". Five five. So I'm not going to go in depth into each of them. Otherwise, you know, we will be here for hours because you guys know how much I can talk about Hermes. But it's just to quickly show you all the bags. I will be telling you what leathers they're in. I'll also be telling you when I got them. So let's start off in chronological order and I'll begin with the very first Hermes bag I got. So the very first bag I got in my collection is this gorgeous Jigi or Jige clutch. Not exactly sure of the pronunciation, but this is the Jigi Ilan 29 centimeter clutch. It does come in various sizes. The one I've got is in Epsom leather. As you can see, there is no hardware, just the H in front of it. I got this in Paris in 2016, early 2016, when we went there for a family holiday. To open it up, it's just this tab, very, very simplistic. But what I do love about it is that it is quite flexible. So it does fit in quite a lot. There is nothing on the inside, as you can see. So very, very plain. I sort of see this clutch as quite a casual clutch. So it transitions from day to night pretty well. And this is in Epsom and in Carla Bougainville, which is this gorgeous red with an undertone of pink. So next up is this beauty here. And it is, oh my goodness, I look at it and I still love this bag. It is my Birkin 30 color Malachite or Malachite, which is this beautiful forest green in a Togo leather. Now this beauty was so hard to get. I've done a whole story about it. Actually, I've put, I'll put my Hermes playlist if you guys wanted to watch all my Hermes videos in the description bar below. I got this from Paris, Mothership Store. It took me six attempts. Yes, I know, crazy Mel. Yes, it took me six attempts, but it was worth it. I've always loved this color. So I just love this bag so much. It is definitely a forever bag. And I think the B30 is a great size. So inside the bag, as you can see, um, I've got my insert and oh, I should actually just show you guys. So the inserts that I use are from 7RP. For those of you that have been following me for ages, I've harped on about, you know, these inserts forever and ever, like over two and a half years. I have done an in-depth insert review. So if you guys were looking for an insert for your Birkin, Kelly or Evelyn, I'll link it above and in the description bar below. But honestly, these are the only inserts that I would use. They not only protect my bag, they shape my bag. As I said, I store my bags with these inside and it really helps the structure, especially for leathers like Togo. A lot of you have been asking me, oh Mel, you know, do you have another code? Because my code ran out a couple of months ago. So I did ask them for you guys and I'm happy to report that I have got such a good code for you. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. I just asked them for this code. So if you were interested in buying an insert, they've got inserts for Kelly, Birkins and Evelyn's in all the sizes. All you need to do is enter my exclusive code, which 
is 25 off one if you wanted to buy one insert, but I actually managed to get another code and it's actually the best discount I've ever had, which is 70 off two. So that can be any two. So if you wanted to buy one Kelly and one Birkin or one Evelyn and one Kelly, whatever combination it is, you get 70 euro off any two inserts. So I will list both exclusive discount codes in the description bar below. The offer is only valid for a very limited time. My code isn't like the ones that go for the whole year. I think it's only going to be writing for a week. I will leave the end date in the description bar below. So if you were interested, do get those inserts because yeah, that's the best offer I've had if you buy two. So yes, I adore this Malakit Birkin. Got it in May 2016. Definitely a lot of effort to get this bag, but totally worth it in my opinion. So next is this gorgeous Kelly. And this is a Kelly size 32 in Togo leather, palladium hardware. And this color is just beautiful. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is in the retiné or return style, which is the more casual style, as you can see from the rounded edges. I will show you a cellier later on. So this is just beautiful. I'm a huge fan of Hermes gold. Well, they call this gold, but it's like a tan. It is just the perfect neutral in my opinion. And as you can see me wearing it, a lot of people sort of think 32 is huge, but I love this bag. I love mini bags, don't get me wrong, but I don't think 32 is that huge. I know with all the mini bag trend and everything like that, people tend to favor smaller bags, but I really love this bag in this shape in the size 32. So if I open it up, all Kellys do come with a shoulder strap. So I have my strap in the Hermes dust bag and inside, no surprise, I have also got my insert. As I said, I store all my Kellys and Birkins. This particular one, I love, uh, I wanted to sort of matchy matchy, hence why I picked gold. But inside the bag, it is all fully leather. There is a zip pocket here and then a couple of pockets um, in this section as well. So all fully leather lined. So what I do love about this Kelly bag is that it has the shoulder strap, so it makes it very convenient. The Birkin does not come with a shoulder strap. And yeah, I just really love this color. I love the size. And this was actually a surprise gift I got for my birthday in 2016. Hubby actually bought this pre-loved but it was in brand new condition so it's seriously perfect so love it next up is actually the very first bag i bought from the melbourne boutique and this was back in december of 2016 so i revealed that as part of my christmas haul and it is none other than my gorgeous birkin 30 in epsom leather black and gold hardware so i don't think you can get any more classic than this bag i mean black and gold you can't go wrong right so when they offered this to me i was like yes i will take it and the difference with this birkin is that because it is in epsom leather which is more structured than say you know my mallet kit which is in togo it is sort of a little bit more stiff inside the bag you're going to see the same theme Look at that beautiful pop of color. So this uh, insert is the Joan Soleil, for those of you that were interested. And I'll just take this out. So inside, it is gonna be hard to see, but it's very similar to the Kelly, where it's got one zip pocket here, but then there's just one pocket here instead of two, which was on my Kelly 32 return. So that is my beautiful Epsom Birkin 30. Next is another Jiggy or Jigge Elan clutch. And this one is in Swift leather though. A lot of people are concerned with Swift leather because they say it scratches pretty easily. This is actually held up pretty well. And this is something Hubby also surprised me with for Valentine's Day in 2017. So this is in a beautiful neutral. This was a neutral I had been looking for and it's called Argyle. And same as what I showed you with the Bougainville, very easy access. You just pull this open and then it's just all plain on the inside. So I love this clutch. I have to say, I probably don't use my clutches as much only because I'm probably not a huge clutch girl, but I really do love the design and its simplicity. You know, you can hold it handheld or, you know, just under the arm like this. So I do really like it. I am glad I have this as part of my collection.
Now, next up is a bag that divides people. I think you either love it or you hate it. And for me, I love it, obviously, because I have it in my collection. And I am talking about this bucket bag here. This was also one I picked up in early 2017. And it's actually not displayed in their bags. It is under their equestrian section. And it's called the Hermes Grooming Bag. And when I first revealed it, some people were like, oh, I can't believe you bought that. And then others were like, oh, I love it. And I don't know, I just really like it. I think I, I actually wear this bag a lot. It's really great casual bag, a great take to the market bag. And it's just, I just love the casual vibe of it. So inside I've just got bubble wrap, but it just has this lining and you can detach that out, but I never do. And it's just one big open space, honestly. I love that it's just got a little bit of tan leather trims and the strap is not adjustable even though you can unclip this but I'm not sure why you would but I think the whole design of this was you know it is like used to store all the horse equipment and her horse grooming tools hence why it's called the grooming bag and I think bucket bags never go out of style. Next is the second bag that I scored from my local Melbourne boutique and it is none other than this cute little Birkin 25, my first Birkin 25 in my holy grail color, Gris Tortorelle. For those of you that are after Gris Tortorelle, it is back this season and I have seen the Gris Tortorelle with like rose gold hardware and I was like drooling. But anyway, I was so happy to be able to add Gris Tortorelle. It is like my favorite Hermes neutral. It sort of looks beige in some lights and then other lights it looks you know, a bit of gray. I just, I love that it's a chameleon. You actually find that with a lot of Hermes colors, they're sort of like a chameleon. And inside the bag, I decided to go matchy matchy with this. So again, another 7RP insert. This is in Gris Tortorelle. And same structure as the Birkin 30. You've got one zip pocket and then you've got one big pocket there. And I forgot to say the leather. This is in Togo leather with palladium hardware, which I just think goes really, really well with this bag. I absolutely love the Birkin 25 size, even though it looks like it's tiny, it actually packs a punch. The only thing that may be a slight negative for some people is because the handle drop is quite small, you really only can wear it handheld. I can sort of wear it on my arm, but it doesn't go like all the way up like the Birkin 30. You can actually wear it at the crook of your arm. But this one, you could squeeze it, but it's not comfortable at all. So that is the second bag that I got from my local boutique. Next is a very, very special bag indeed. And this is the bag Hubby actually scored in Paris when we were celebrating our 18 year wedding anniversary. So this is back in November of 2017. And it is Miss Annie. You guys helped me named this bag actually Miss Annie because you know, hubby scored it during our anniversary. So I have a video dedicated on this. This is the current system that if you want to go to Paris, specifically only the Mothership store, which is the Fulburg store. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's only in that store where they have that new system. So if you were interested, if you guys are going to Paris and you're wondering how do I, you know, potentially score a Birkin or Kelly or Constance, then watch that video. I will link it above and in the description description bar below it is still the same system but that's the only store and perhaps also in Japan where if you've had no buying history you can possibly get a Birkin or Kelly. So this one what can I say it is just like my dream combination it is exactly what I wanted I could not believe it that he got this bag. So this bag is in a size 28. It is a cellier. Can you sort of see that it is a lot more rigid and the corners are a lot more sharper. So for Kelly's, there's two different constructions. As I showed you with my gold, which is more casual, it's the retine or retorn. And this is the cellier. So it is a different shape. Now, this is also in Epsom leather, which for a cellier, my preference, I love Epsom in the cellier shape with palladium hardware. And I adore this bag. Again, another forever bag, a very sentimental bag for me. And on in the inside, I've just got my insert. I'll just take that out. 
But yeah, with the Kelly, the only difference between the Kelly and the Birkin is that, as I said, zip, and this one's got two pockets here. So with the Cellier, it is a little bit more rigid, sort of a bit harder to get in and out of compared to the Retorn shape. But honestly, I don't mind. I actually adore the Cellier shape. I love that it's so elegant. I love that it's structured and it looks a little bit more formal. It probably suits my style more, but if I had to pick, I do think I prefer the Cellier over the Retorn shape. But look, I just... I love Kelly's in general. So that is Miss Annie. Moving on to a super cute bag. And I think this is a great bag if you're thinking to invest in Hermes, but you know, obviously Birkins and Kelly's cost a lot, but I adore this bag and it is the Picatin. I also bought this from my local boutique. This is in Clemence leather and they tend to make Picatins in Clemence. It just suits the shape of the bag. It's slightly slouchy, but it has that casual feel. This is in color few, which means fire. I love, I wanted something really bright. So when an orange came in, my sales associate's like, this is perfect and I agreed. So it's got palladium hardware. You can take this lock off. Now on the inside, I've just got it stuffed with tissue but it is unlined, as you can see, unlined. So the back of leather is suede, so it, this is just suede on the inside. It fits so much inside the bag, and you can pull this down, and you can easily make this bag into a shoulder bag, and I just have attached like a long twillion on it, or you can even attach a strap, and then this can become a shoulder bag, which makes it so cool because it's so cute as a handheld or at the crook of your arm, but it's always good to have options. That is the back of the bag and that is the bottom of the bag so that it has four feet. So for those of you considering your first Hermes piece, I do highly recommend the Picatin. I think it is so cute. It comes in various sizes. I do have another size, which I will come to soon, but it is at a pretty good price point. And I forgot to tell you, I purchased this at the start of 2018. Next up is also a bag that has really much divided opinions, but I love it. I love the history behind it. And I'm talking about this bag here. And it is called the Kelly Transparent Bag. It was actually not sold by Hermes. It was available at one of their exhibitions. I've done a video on it and I've explained all of it. So if you were interested, you can watch that. But this bag is actually a vintage bag from 1997. So yes, we're talking like 22 years old. And yeah, look, you either love the transparency trend or you don't. Personally, I love it. Even if it goes out of fashion, it doesn't matter to me. It, I think with the transparency trend, it was very big last year. I do see it continuing on this year, but I just love it because of its history. I picked this up from eBay also at the start of 2018. I got it for a steal, in my opinion, maybe you know not to everyone, but I think I paid about 480 Australian dollars and I have seen this go for way over a thousand dollars. So I really like it I love that you can put all different things inside and then you can sort of see you know all your bits and pieces I know some people don't but the most important thing I think is that I love it and it is called the 40 centimeter because it does me measure 40 centimeters across so yes that's the front of the bag and th the back of the bag as you can see completely plain or clear see-through and the bottom is completely clear too and this does have sort of gold hardware so if you were interested in these if I do see some of these I will link it below they have been very popular on eBay but my very first pointer for those of you looking to purchase this bag is make sure it doesn't have any yellow so it's worth paying that little Little bit more because if you don't look after plastic uh, well it goes yellow and also look out for this lock but it is very normal that the lock shows a little bit of age so just a little pointer and next is such a fun colored bag and it is my beautiful and fun Miss Poppy. Again, you guys helped me name this bag. It is in the color Magnolia. It's a very bright pink. Togo leather, palladium hardware. So cute. Oh, B25. So this is my third bag from my local boutique. And yeah, I, I really have loved this bag more and more. Originally, I wanted it in Rose Poupre, but I'm so glad I have it in Magnolia. I just think it's such a fun bag. I totally forgot, probably because I got so excited when I was showing you all my other Birkins, but that is the front. So it's got, you know, the sangles here. The back of all the Birkins are plain, so they all look like that. And all Birkins also have four feet down the bottom. 
Inside, same, same, you can see my orange 7RP insert there. I think that looks fabulous as a contrast. And I have just really enjoyed wearing this bag. It just is such a fun bag. I think in a B25, you can definitely go a little bit bolder with colors because it is a smaller bag. So Miss Poppy makes me very happy every time I wear her. And this I got for my birthday in 2018. So next up are three bags that I actually scored in my recent trip to Hawaii. I've done a whole series on that. If you wanted to watch, I actually have a Hawaii playlist. I will link it down below. But anyway, I was super, super happy to score this little cutie and it is none other than the Kelly size 25 in blue onk, which translates to blue ink. It's just gorgeous. Like it's sort of like bluey but it's got like a purple hue to it and it is in palladium hardware in the cellier structure so as i mentioned before the cellier structure is a lot more cleaner sharper edges it's got stitching on the outside whereas in the return which was you know this one here the main difference between the cellier and return is with the return you can see the piping on the edges and the corners are a lot more softer Anyway, with the Cellier, this is in the size 25, which I don't have in my collection. It is so cute. As you can see me wearing it, it is such a cute style. And um, again, another contrast uh, bag insert. I just really like the size. I think at the moment, the Kelly 25s are really, really difficult to get. So when I was offered this in Hawaii, I was more than happy to take it and I actually really like this color and it goes with more than I initially thought. Again with the inside it is the same guys as all the Kellys I mentioned before all the same color and I forgot with all my other Kellys showing you so it also has these are called sangles I tend to just let them droop like this the back all the Kellys look like that and all the Kellys also have four feet along the bottom. So that was the very first bag that I picked up from Hawaii. So the next bag was a complete surprise and actually not on my radar. I didn't even know it existed, but Hawaii does get stock that a lot of countries don't. So I was so happy when my, you know, sales associate Joyo, hi Joyo if you're watching, offered this to me. And it is this beauty here. It is the Picatin. Again, I told you I'm a fan of the Picatin in size 22. So it is bigger than the 18. So this is the 18. This is the 22. But not too big in my opinion. And what makes this so special? If you look at the handles, it has got a little bit of exotic. I just love that this has just got a touch, hence why it's called the Picatin Touch, a little bit of uh, exotic, which this is actually in alligator. Again, in the inside of the bag, I'll just, I've just got it stuffed at the moment. Some stuffing. It is completely unlined. It might be hard to see as well, but it's just a base. Uh, it's going to be hard to see, but is because it looks like a big black hole but it's got a leather base and it is also unlined so suede and what I love about this one too which you don't find in Picatons as much is that it's got the beautiful uh, gold hardware most of the time Picatons come with palladium hardware so I love that this came with the gold hardware so yes a huge fan of this bag and the final bag in my collection is none other than this little baby and it is the Kelly Pochette and it is in color Rose Propre in leather swift with palladium hardware. Initially, I wasn't too sure about this bag. I didn't even know I was going to be offered this bag, though I really wanted a Kelly Pochette because I had my Birkin 25 in Magnolia. But as you can see, this one is quite a lot darker than this. This is a lot brighter sort of pink. And you know what? This actually fits quite a lot. Like I have got a bigger sized iPhone and it is not a problem. Even though I absolutely love the mini Kelly, which is still on my wish list, this actually fits all my essentials. So if I open this up, just got tissue in there. It still has all the features of the Kelly. So it's got the two, you know, sangles here. And the difference is when you open it up, it only has one pocket there. So it doesn't have a zip pocket. And another thing about it also is that it doesn't have any feet. So it's just plain down the bottom. 
So I think this is such a cute bag. Another really cute way of wearing this bag besides wearing it handheld is that you can also use a necklace, which is I have a Farandole necklace, which you can use as a strap. I've shown it in another video. My necklace is actually lent to my sister, so I don't have it with me, but I'll insert it here to show you what it looks like, which just completely changes the look of this bag up. So that is it, guys. That is my entire Hermes bag collection video. Yes, there's quite a few styles, though I am eyeing a couple more styles, but I will reveal that in another video. A lot of you guys requested a 2019 wishlist video, so I will let you know what bags from Hermes and other brands I am eyeing. So if you enjoyed this collection video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for those of you that were interested in the gorgeous inserts that I use, I can't highly recommend them enough. But as I said, I've done an in-depth review on these inserts so do check that out if you wanted to find out more information but I love them they're the only ones I would use so don't forget I've got two gift codes I will link them down below and they actually just came out with two gorgeous colors one in olive and one in forest green so I'm like oh my goodness so anyway thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video bye guys